All right, guys, so today I'm going to be doing a what's in my fragrance drawer. So I have three drawers. Let's start off with drawer number one. All right. All right, let's see what we have here. So, all right, let's start off with the big box here. So we have Trish. McAvoy, uh, this is the Blackberry and Vanilla Musk. This is number nine. This is one of my favorites. Uh, this is still brand new. I haven't even used it. This reminds me of when I worked for, when I worked for Trish. Um, I think I was like maybe 26. And it just gives me good memories of like when I started dating my husband. That's one. And then this is one of my favorites. This is uh, Narcisco Rodriguez for her. This is brand new also. Um, actually, I have to tell you something. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Is this it? No, that's not it. Um, oh, here. The Lovely by Sarah Jessica Parker. This almost smells identical to this. This is cheaper. It has the same fragrance. It really does. It's just very elegant. Um, you'll you'll find that they are they are extremely extremely similar. So I have this one. This is so pretty. Yeah, never been opened. And like I said, I also have the Sarah Jessica Parker Lovely. This is unbelievable. And this reminds me of when I worked for Christian Dior Cosmetics. It is one of my um, all-time favorites. This one and um, there is another one. I think it's called um, Hypnotic Poison. But this is an awesome one. And then... My favorite favorite, this is um, Glow by J.Lo. You, you can't go wrong, you cannot go wrong. Speaking of, I think I have another one of hers. Yeah, Glowing, Glowing is another really good one that I absolutely love. And I think there's another one I might have in the second drawer that's hers also. Anyways, let's keep going. Um, then I have, this is a Sarah Jessica Parker Lovely also, that's for traveling. This is vintage. This is my mother's. Um, I remember this many, many moons ago. This is by, I think this is, who is this? Estee Lauder. Yeah. Super perfume. I think my dad got this for my mom. Like, I remember seeing this when I was five. So this is like 35 years ago um, that I saw this. And I just, I keep it for the vintage and memorabilia sake of it. All right, let's go over here. I have a whole bunch of uh, Laura Mercier, um, creme brulee, almond coconut. Let me see what I have here. I also have another creme brulee, another almond coconut. That's a good one too. Those are very good summery ones. Uh, this is Bronze Goddess by Estee Lauder. This is a good one too. It, it's I think it's a little bit of an oil. This is more of a summer kind of fragrance. And then I also have some, I'm I'm gonna butcher the, this, Jolet de Rose. I'm, this reminds me of when I worked at Blue Mercury. I used to freelance for Laura Mercier and Trish. And I remember smelling this at Blue Mercury and it was out of this world most, feminine fragrance you'll ever ever find and um, this is quite expensive I think it was like I think it's over a hundred dollars like 126 or something like that and then I found the same company and they make this one too I found this one at a thrift store for I think 70 bucks and was it 70 dollars I think so I think it was like 70 bucks or something like that so I bought it because it was very similar to this one. So good memories behind this one. Very, very good memories. And then we have some Laura Mercier. Which one is this one? This one is Eau de Lune. This is a 
fantastic summer fragrance. You can't go wrong with that. All right. And then there's three of the Eau de Lune fragrance. And then I have Trish again. This is the uh, travel size uh, Blackberry number nine. And then a whole lot of oil. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So this is from the uh, Nemet brand. So I have how many of these? Oh, my goodness. Okay. So I have two of the miniature vanilla musk this is this oil goes a long way um you could put it in like little rollers which i believe i have this is the egyptian musk this is really good also and all right let me see how many of these i have i have a whole lot so hold on these are the oh no sorry this is the bigger size let me see what's it okay so then i have two of the medium size white vanilla musk i'm sorry white musk and then one of the amber the medium size and then i have the bigger sizes um so hold on let me do this i'm gonna need the amber i guess i got a lot of the amber wow i do okay so i have Looks like I have six of the amber one. This is a beautiful, beautiful oil, guys. It a little goes a very long way. And then I have one of the medium size, or maybe this is a large size. So if this if this is medium, this has to be large. Yeah, so these are really, really good. They sell them over at Whole Foods, so. If you ever just want a wonderful feminine scented fragrance uh, oil, I definitely try it. All right, so that's for drawer number one. I'm going to put all this back and then we're going to get started drawer number two. All right, moving on to drawer number two. what I got here okay all right uh this I got from Target it's uh I think it's a men's cologne it's like an oil it smells really it smell oh my god it smells so fresh it's a, a solid it's a solid cologne but I mean it could definitely pass for like a woman's scent it's really good so it was actually on clearance um in all honesty, I think it was less than eight seventy four. I think I got it for four bucks. So I really, really like that one. I'm gonna leave that one out so I remember to use it. All right, nostalgic. So I got two of these. They do not make them anymore, and I got them off of eBay. I used to wear this freshman year of high school, and I have to tell you, I searched high and low for this, and I finally found it on eBay. Guys, this is the, it, oh my goodness. The second I opened up the bottle, it gave me such beautiful memories of high school. Um, Obviously cutting classes and stuff and getting into trouble. But anyways, I used to pour this on me. It was just so nice and fresh. That was, again, I got that from eBay. Don't Listen, by the way, in stores, I think it may have cost like five bucks what I paid on eBay for a first, I found this one first. I think I paid maybe 60 bucks. And then I think this was like, I don't know, 80 bucks. But like I said, I got it for nostalgic reasons and it's just, it was a good memory. This is a tin can from Mario Tricocci that I got. Um, it's a, inside here is a fragrance powder that has some luminosity to it. I love the way it smells. It gives me like an 80s, it gives me like an 80s like fragrance smell and I don't use it. Again, I just like it for the um, um, the nostalgic feel of it. So, all right. Oh, I knew it. I had another JLo um, perfume, My Glow. My Glow is really, really good. So what I had in the top drawer was Glow glowing and then my glow is a, another really really good one 
And let me see, I have, so Avon all of a sudden became cruelty free, which I was really, really happy to hear. So this is one of my favorite fragrances from Avon. It's called Today. I actually have three of them. I got this one too. This is the one I use for every day. I absolutely love it. So I got two of these for back stock. And then I also have some Laura Mercier uh, Creme Brulee Body Souffle. This is also good. Uh, the Laura Mercier Chocolate Truffle. Lord. Creme Brulee. Bigger size. The Almond Coconut. And what else do I have here? I have the Laura Magique Body Cream and uh, Eau de Lune. What is this one? Okay, so I have two of the um, Laura Magique, which is phenomenal. My favorite Dior, aside from the, um, what was this one called again? Uh, J'adore. I love this one, Hypnotic Poison. Phenomenal, out of this world. Um, and then I believe Sears was going out of business. So what they ended up doing was they ended up selling their like back stock testers. So I got another one for Dirt Dirt Cheap. So I have another, so I have two. Yeah, so Sears was selling their uh, testers. Um, I, I don't know if it was like someone from that used to work there or what. Oh, look. So here, I have rollers. I had rollers in my makeup drawer too. So I have rollers for like those oils and stuff. So this is, I got that off of uh, Amazon. So it's just easier to travel with. And then over here, got to clean that drawer. This used to be a makeup drawer and it's, then I have Bill Blass nude. This is, this is a showstopper. This is like, I remember being in my car summertime, windows rolled down and the lady next to me says, excuse me, ma'am, what fragrance do you have? It smells out of this world. And honestly, I don't like, I don't spray a lot. It's just very little. But I mean, literally, literally, I had a car stop and just be like, look, what fragrance do you have on? So I have two of this. My sister used to work, uh, work this. My sister used to use this. And that's the only reason why I, I like it is because I know I get a lot of compliments on it. So that's it for drawer number two. And then we're going to move on to drawer number Drawer number three, it's the final drawer. All right, so drawer number three, here we go. Let's start off on this side, close the side. This is Lovely by Jessica, Sarah Jessica Parker, not Jessica, Sarah Jessica Parker. Uh, I have three backups and then one on my vanity. Um, it is, obviously it smells just like this but more, uh, uh, a lot more lighter, you know? So yeah, this is what I use for almost every day. Uh, you know what, let me take this out. And then I have a whole bunch of Moonlight Path for, there we go. This is nice for every day too, so I have four of these. This reminds me of a scent of when I was a kid. Um, I remember very well, it was a block party and someone on the block was giving out um, jars. They're like this big and they were of glitter, like a gel glitter, like body glitter. And it smelled just like this. And I've been searching high and low for fragrance that like reminded me of that. And 
I ran into this and this was just, it's identical to that um, scent when I was a kid. All right, um, we have, just bang my head on the freaking camera, it's funny. All right, so we have, wow. Okay, so we have three of these Laura Mercier. This is the uh, pistachio one, the fresh fig one, and then almond coconut um, body butters. And look at that, another one of Bill Blass nude. I'll put that right in here. So I guess I have four of those that in here somewhere. We'll close. There we go. All right. Um, this is Saban Body Butter. This smells wonderful. It's a uh, vanilla coconut. I have two of them. You know what? I ought to keep it out so that way I remember to use it. But yeah, uh, I remember uh, my friend from Laura Mercier uh, bought me this for Christmas. Not this one, but she had bought me one and then I loved it so much and I went and I got two more back stock. And then this is Hawaiian chocolate. It's got like a little shimmer in it. Two of those. And then what do we have back here? These are great for traveling. Um, you just spray your perfume in here. These open up like this. And that way, if you like lose your bag or something, you don't absolutely lose like the entire bottle of fragrance. So these, this is awesome. Um, I have another one for Trish. This is empty. I saved it so I could travel with that too. It's good to refill. And then this is another fragrance. I don't know what it is. And then this, I'm saving this. This used to be Jo Malone, but I saved it for travel also because you could always refill and, you know, travel with your stuff. This is a brand from Mario Chicochi. This is wonderful, um, body spray. Or actually, I'm going to keep one out so I remember to use it. Um, and then, it, it that, by the way, looks really, really, it smells great and looks great on the legs. And this is that same, uh, like a body butter. Leave that out so I remember to use it. Back here, what do we have? We have scrub from the same company. Back there, we have three of these, with oh, the oils coming out, of the uh, body scrubs. That's of the same scent as that. So it was one of my favorite scents. So I don't know if they even make it anymore. And then a traveling Laura Mercier um, souffle body cream. So, and then I have these two. What is this? This is not from this country. Oh my God, this is a Romanian coin. How funny is that? And this is a dollar. Cool. All All right, guys, thank you so much for stopping by for this video. I hope you enjoyed what was in these drawers. It actually reminded me of what I had, to be honest with you. So um, I'm glad I did this. Anyways, stop by for more videos. I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Bye.